So this next stage of testing is a little bit slower. The reason it is slower is because I need to carefully watch my battery voltage to make sure that this voltage does not go up or down. The reason is because I want my input to match my output. If the input is greater than the output, then it will slowly charge the battery. And if the input is less than the output, then it will slowly drain the battery. But I have been watching this battery for many hours, and that voltage is remaining constant. So you can see here the input is 1.7 amps at 12.3 volts. So that's just under 21 watts, 20.9, and my output is at 22 watts. That's an 11 watt light bulb, two of them, that's 22. But actually it's a little bit more than 22 because of losses in this inverter. Now this is what our spikes looks like. That's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110 volt spikes at 100 hertz. I put three of these the diodes here. That's a 16 amp, a 600 volt diode. And now they're nice and cool. And I've got my three transistors here. They're also nice and cool. And we are maintaining 1.7 amps, 12.3 volts, and this battery is just holding that 11 volts. It's not going up or going down.